Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. How are ya? So, today, I was just thinking and I'm like, I didn't, I don't think, do enough videos for the 2019 products. So I did the 19 Best Boxy Charm products, which was uh, Brent Guy's video and Glam with Suzanne. Love Glam with Suzanne. So if you guys are not subscribed, go check her out. But I wanted to do something, I, and I don't know that anybody has this video. I didn't look to see, but I haven't seen any yet. Now, I get many different subscription boxes. And I wanted to kind of put something together. And I didn't want to do separate videos. So I thought I would just put it all in one. So I'm going to do my Allure, Ipsy, and Slay Glam all in one. But I'm only going to do five products of each. So I'm going to do my top five products of Allure, Ipsy, and Slay Glam box all in one video. And I know you guys aren't used to me having my hair down. But we're getting ready to dye my hair, so it needs to be down so that it could dry and not be tangly, which it already is. My hair gets so tangly so quick. I have really long hair, though. So my roots are really what need dye the worst. Like, I'm getting gray hair, you guys. So sad. So we're going to be dyeing my hair here real soon before supper. Got a hair in my mouth. See, that's why I don't like my hair down. So let me hold on one second. All right, guys. Sorry about that. Um, every time I go to tape a video, I swear Jimmy hears me talking and he's like, I'm going to go see what she's doing or I'm going to go interrupt her. And it's like, ugh. So, we're going to start out with the Slay Glam Box. So, I really, really do like these, and they, they were really soft and good on the skin, but the box just, like, does not want to hold up. So, I really like the Caitlyn sponges. They are so soft. I just really like them, and they blends so nicely. So these were really, really nice to um, add in a box. So super excited about that. That was from Slay Glam. That's what our first five products are. And my number one product, I should have started with number one favorite, huh? So my number one favorite is this lip gloss. This stuff is so amazing and it's by Drip and Diamonds Beauty. Not just because this is blinged out, is it my favorite, because I do love diamonds, you guys know that. Um, it just so pretty on the lips, you're thinking it's going to be something really orange, but you guys, it's really, really not. It's just so pretty. So this is my favorite through there. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. And then I thought this was a really cool idea for Christmas. They absolutely killed it with this. And this is the Girlfriend Collection from Spoiled Lips. And you literally got six lip, I think they're lip gloss, or they're lipsticks, liquid lips. And you got six of them. You guys seen me uh, swatch them. The only thing I don't like about these is... I had to scrub my hand to get them off of my hand. Like, oh my gosh. So I can only imagine what it's going to feel like on your lips. So it's probably going to dry down really, really matte. And it's probably going to be hard to get off. I'm not going to lie to you. I have not tried them yet. But I haven't been with Slay Box for long. So I didn't have a whole lot to pick from through them. So, I figured this is a good one. So, that's three. And then next, I absolutely think this is a beautiful, beautiful palette. And this is the Rashaw B Cosmetic Tis the Season. Perfect, of course. It came at Christmas time. I have not used it, but it's got such pretty colors in it. So, yes, I like this palette. I'm going to start doing um, 
It's going to start February 1st. I'm going to do a series and it's going to be where we do a palette each week. It's going to be a different palette of mine because I have such a huge palette collection. So what we'll do is I'll get on here the week before and I'll make a video like which palette would you like to see this one or this one and you'll leave in the comments down below and then we'll do that so this is number four and number five I thought this was just so cool and it said it was only valued at $20 but honestly I think this is a really good idea and it came in its own little case and everything so so cool and it's got brushes so it's got six yeah it's got six brushes I don't know how good they are I have not used them yet um, this would have been a really nice Christmas gift for if you didn't have the money to give somebody something this would be a really nice gift so you get six brushes and you even get like eye brushes even clear down to the artist brush which is the wee wee tiny one that's a nice brush and then you get a pair of tweezers, and these actually say crown on it. And then you get a little mirror. So, I mean, I thought this was a really cool get, uh, item to have in a bag or a subscription box. So those are my my five products that I like through Slam, Slay Glam. Now, I do believe I've only got them for like four months, maybe three or four. So I haven't got them for long, so I really didn't have like a whole bunch of products to pick through them. And I kind of struggled with Ipsy a little bit too because um, a lot of times Ipsy is, I don't want to say I don't use everything through them, but a lot of times I don't like keep a lot of the stuff so I kind of forget where it comes from so this year what I'm doing is I have the these things so I'm gonna take these and I have three of them and I'm gonna put a boxy charm one a slay glam and an allure one because those are the makeup subscriptions that I get. So Slag Lim, Ipsy, yeah, and allure. So I'm gonna just put it in there. And of course, if I use the things and I like them a lot, they'll stay on my vanity. But I'm gonna keep the stuff in those that way I know exactly where the products are coming from because that's the problem that I'm having right now is I'm forgetting where everything is coming from. But, you know, it is what it is. We made this work, and that's just how it happens, you know. Unfortunately, you get so much stuff through these that you do tend to forget where stuff comes from. So let's move on to Ipsy. So Ipsy, I really like the Betty Boop collection. Um, now, I did not like the blush. I don't even know if I kept it, honestly. I don't think I did, no. Um, I got rid of a lot of stuff, so I did not keep it, but anyways, the Betty Boop collection was really cool, and I liked the Tetris too, but the Tetris palette was not as pigmented as, as what it should have been, or it was, so it wasn't, um, so what I liked through there was the Betty Boop lip gloss, this is not pink, I... It's, it's clear. I put it on over top of a really dark lipstick, and yeah, it turned the inside a little bit pink or red, whichever you want to call it. I don't remember if it was red or pink, but it turned it like a pinkish, but it's okay. It still goes on clear, but this was one of my favorites through Ipsy. Now, something that I'm using now, and I really like it, I use it every morning before I go to work. I work with a lot of boxes, cardboard, um, and my hands get really, really dry. So, and then they get cracky and they hurt. So, I'm always looking for good hand creams. And, of course, I 
buy lots of different ones but when you get so many different subscription boxes and you get all this stuff it's like why go buy things when you're getting stuff you know so I got this one in a mystery bag and it is gardenia it smells real flowery I gotta get say it's like a I don't know it's real flowery but it makes my hands feel so so good I rub it on every morning before work and it's amazing. It actually sets on my little trolley thing on my vanity. So that'll probably be the next video, you guys, is a vanity tour. It's a little clustered, but it is what it is. So that sets in there. And then next, you guys know that I just finished an eye cream through Ipsy. It was my favorite, but I didn't want to put it in this video because I'm not currently using it. So... I wanted to put stuff that I'm currently using and like, um, they had gave and that, or not gave, but they sent another eye cream and this is the Verso. And I have, as you can see, had at least a week, week and a half to use this. And I really do like it. It's, you guys, I just apply it a little bit under my eyes and I just simply go in circles like this. And I don't know, maybe it's not making me look as tired. I wake up every day at like 4 o'clock in the morning, so I'm going to look tired. <laughs> so, yeah, I use an eye cream every day, and I absolutely love it. So when this one's gone, I have another one up here already ready for backup. But it's going to be a while because that's a big container, actually, because you don't use much of it. And then, that was um, number three. I really like the Gigi uh, gorgeous bronzer. Now I got a translucent powder. I don't know how to use that. Wait, no, it's not a powder. I, I don't know how to use it. It says turned up, turned touch up powder. So I don't know. Maybe if somebody can give me su some suggestions on how to use this, but I don't know. I kept it. But it's just so tiny. I, I just don't know how to use it, guys. Just don't know how to use it. So, I don't know. Maybe someday I'll figure it out. <laughs> Have you ever got products like that to where you're just like, I don't know how to use that. I get this a lot. Not a lot, a lot, but I get them a lot. But I like the Gigi Gorgeous. Um, this is the bronzer. So pretty. So I think they had in the box that time you could get a bronzer, a blush, and then in a little Ipsy bag you got the, I think it's called a translucent touch-up powder is what it was called. But this bronzer goes on gorgeous. So I like that. That's number four. And then number five. I tried to include a palette in each one of these. Um, so number five, Allure, we don't really get palettes though, so you'll see what I did for that. This one is the It's, whatever, the palette where you could build your own palette with this. So I did end up taking the um, thing out of it because I had, I love the pack, the, like, it's like a leather case, you guys. But I ended up taking out the separator because I had a highlighter that needed a home, a magnetic thing, and it's through Ofra, obviously. But it came with these four colors. I'm going to do a look with these because I think these are just such pretty colors and it would make such a everyday neutral color. So yeah. And then this right here is my favorite highlighter in Rodeo Drive. I absolutely love it. So I was excited that that came in there. So yeah, this is my favorite palette through Ipsy so far that we've got this year. This last year. Sorry. We're into 2020, you guys. It's crazy. I just can't even believe it, right? It's nuts, nuts, nuts. So that was my five favorite products through Ipsy. And, um... Yeah, I thought I would put this all in one video too. That way there's not f three different videos that are like five or ten minutes long. So yeah, I didn't want to do that. I figured I'd do it all together and make it just one big happy video. I hope you guys love watching my videos. 
So let's move on to Allure. Now I did get this in Ipsy too. And I absolutely loved it, but I was only picking five, so I couldn't put it in there. And this is the Tarte Stay Spray. This stuff is really good, and it smells so refreshing. It's like a coconut or water. I'm not sure. It's kind of like a, it's like a coconut or a watermelon, maybe. It smells really good, though. Um, and it works like it really stays on like when it says it stays on it stays on So in 2019, I feel like Allure had its ups and had its downs um, There was a couple boxes that was amazing and a couple boxes that just I Wanted to cancel. <laughs> I was getting very frustrated with them so um Three of these products that I'm getting ready to show you all came in one box because, like I said, Ipsy, or Ipsy, Allure just did not have very good, um, a very good year, I want to say. I'm hoping that 2020 is better for them because if not, I'm probably going to cancel them <laughs> because they already, I've seen the sneak peeks for January and I'm just like, wouldn't you bring the heat for January? Like, give you a good box. We just, I know we just had Christmas, and that's what they did have a nice box for that one. So, oh, well, it is what it is. So, this is what got me introduced to the Rodeo Drive highlighter from Ofra. They had a um, collab where they collabed with Nikki Tutorials. So, it came with an eyeliner and... I want to say a single shadow or something, but then it came with this highlighter. And this highlighter is my absolute favorite highlighter, and it was a collab with Nikki Tutorial. I love her so, so much. Like, I've used it so much that it's, like, starting to hit pan. I love it. I will repurchase this one for sure. So, that was product number one. So then the second product they did, um, Laura Mercier, uh, setting powder. This is the best setting powder ever. Like, and this is the translucent one. Um, if you guys have not tried this setting powder, that's all I can say. Like, it's amazing. Um, one of the best powders I've ever used. This one's actually getting kind of empty. I've had it for quite some time. <laughs> So, yeah, um, probably since, like, the first few months of 2019, I'm going to say. So, really like this. It it works amazing. It does what it says it's going to do. Now, the last three products, I'm sorry you guys came from December. So, if you are like, wow, she really liked that box. Yes, I really like that box. And the reason I like that box is because it had lots of Anastasia Beverly Hills. She is, I love her products. Her products are amazing. I love the palettes. I love the lippies. I just love it all. So, they really wowed me with this one. So, that's what these products are. So, I really like the brow gel. Am I going to repurchase this? Absolutely, because I liked it that much that I'm going to repurchase it. Like, I usually don't. Like, some products, like I've bought a couple here and there. Like, um, from Boxy Pop-Up, I bought a few products like the IGK. Um, I will always repurchase that. That'll be a continuing product I use. Now, the Dr. Brandt um, face wash, I wish I could afford to repurchase that because I did buy an extra one through the Boxy Pop-Up, but I just couldn't get more than one. It was crazy, um, and that really worked amazing for my skin. Just like through Boxy, this um, Dr. Brandt recovery mask. I do have one more of these, but when it's gone, I'm not going to be able to repurchase it because it's so expensive. So, hopefully, I get in a boxy charm this month. I'm hoping and praying to God that I get the watermelon sleeping mask because I want to try it so bad. I do have a sample, and I've been hoarding it. I haven't even opened it to smell it or anything because I don't want it to get contaminated yet. So, um, yeah, I'm hoping I get the bigger one. Let me see. 
excited to see. It's either between, I don't remember, that or a palette maybe? I don't remember. There's so many sneak peeks and stuff out there. But anyways, love the brow gel. Um, it's absolutely amazing product. Uh, and then next, oh my god, this collar, you guys, is so amazing, and it is Bohemian. I'm just gonna put it right over top of this gloss just to show you guys, and then I'll wipe it off. It is so pretty, so 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 pretty. I might have done a tutorial with it in there. I'm not sure. Maybe my New Year's look. I think. Anyways, yeah, gorgeous color. And I usually don't go for dark looks like this. But this one just hit home. I just loved it. It's not going to be perfect because I'm not trying, you guys. But is this color not beautiful? Like, I could just throw this on, go to work, maybe some mascara, call it a day, and it'd be beautiful, right? It's absolutely stunning. So, I'm so excited to have this color, and it came in my last Allure box. So, the last product that I absolutely was wowed about, and I honestly have looked at these highlighters for quite some time but like I said I just I can't always pay 30 to 40 dollars for a palette so sometimes you just put it in a cart and then later on you end up deleting and getting something else because it's like wow now this is out you know so Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild palette I have looked at this forever I picked it up at Ulta I've put it in my cart on also when they've had their sales. I've put it in my cart on Sephora. I literally put this in my cart probably three times and never got it because I was like, oh, I just don't need no more highlighters. But when I got it in a box, I was wowed and so excited. So it's gorgeous, you guys. Gorgeous. I have used this one. So you get... Blue Ice, Star, Purple Horseshoe, Pink Heart, Lucky Clover, and Blue Moon. But just look at the colors. Oh my god, they're so, so pretty. She really does a good job. When I say she does a good job, I mean it. Oh, I got that lotion on my hands. It's not gonna... Anyways, you can still see it. I have lotion on my hands, you guys. So it's like really... uh slippery we'll say and then oh they are showing up a little bit though but see how pretty they're just so gorgeous you guys so so gorgeous Ooh, look at that one but they're so pretty they're like a holographic and that's what I like so yeah I'm not going to keep you guys. I'm already at 23 minutes. I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, hit that button. Ring that bell. I got something planned for 2020 that you guys are going to love. So, until my next video, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.